nice to have you here, Nick and Brian, at the Napa Valley Film Festival. Congratulations on Green Book. Thank you very much. Oh, Appreciate thank it. Thank you. We love being here. I'll tell you what, this is going to get us writing again, just so we can be here next year for another film festival, right? Awesome. And I know the film has been, you know, cruising the festival circuit. So um, you've got a really good reception for the film. Audiences really love it. And I was wondering, how did you come up with the story? I understand it's biographical. Is that right? The story came up with it's a true story that happened to my dad in the early 1960s. So I knew the story and heard the story many times from my father. So I always wanted to make it to a film. So I archived it. I had tape recorded him and the other uh, man in the movie, Dr. Donald Shirley, got the stories from him. And then just waited until it was the right time. And then I told Brian about it. We were talking about writing something together. And I said, what about this? And he responded oh, to it. Yeah, I loved it. I loved the idea. I mean, it's crazy. I knew his father for years, and I, I, but I had never heard this story. And when I heard the story, uh, and, and Nick pitched it, I mean, he said it perfectly, and I was like, wow, this needs to be made, particularly today. This is a movie that needs to be heard. And uh, it, went, it went right to Pete Verley, first guy, because Pete's the nicest guy in Hollywood, honestly. I mean that. And uh, it, off and running, as soon as he said yes, you know. And how did you come to cast Viggo Mortensen in the film? That was a big thing, because who was going to play my dad? He was this big, rough-and-tumble guy from the Bronx, Italian guy. So we talked about Italian actors. We were thinking about different ones. And I got to say, it was Pete Frelli's idea. He had seen Captain Fantastic. And he went, Vigo's just the best actor I've ever seen. And he said to me, what do you think about Vigo Mortensen? And we looked at each other. I mean, Vigo's one of my favorite actors of all time. The Italian thing was our concern. But then I, it hit me, and I talked to Brian about it. I goes, the most iconic Italian character ever in film is Marlon Brando was the Godfather. And he was an Italian. And I think Vigo is our generation's Marlon Brando. So I said, Pete, I'm in. Run with it. Try to get Vigo. And um, Vigo fought it off a little bit. He did. He thought, you know, perhaps he was too old for the part because at the time he's 35, your father, right? And also, uh, he, he, he's enough. not Italian enough, he thought. But, you know, he speaks Italian fluently. And he also speaks seven other languages. And his Italian actually sounded so beautiful on the movie, we actually had to more Bronx it up. Yeah, we, we, my uncles told, taught him the Calabrese dialects that they spoke my father did and then he hung out with me and my brothers and my uncles he put on 45 pounds he yeah. did a complete physical transformation and a just a, a, a character transformation he picked up all our mannerisms they, and luckily there's a lot of tape on my father so he watched that so he is if you want to know what my father was like he's him on film yeah. created impeccably and uh, Mahershala Ali didn't have as much material to work with and he did a brilliant, genius job himself. Yeah, he had to get inside the mind of a genius. And he is a genius, yes. as Nick will tell you, and I will tell you. And uh, it worked out beautifully. Have you seen it yet? I'm going to see it tonight. I hope you love it. I, th I think you're going to enjoy it. And yeah. Linda Cardellini is my mom. Can't even watch her. Brings me to tears all the time. Another great, amazing performance. Amazing. Well, really excited to have you here and to see the film. Congratulations to the both of you. Thank you. Thank you we very much. We love being here. I'm yes. telling you, uh, this is... This is going to get us writing again.